Hello and welcome to Mangley Town. Today I've got a special twin unboxing for you. Uh, first one will be my Hornby Hitachi Class 800 test livery train pack R3579 and then it will be the coach pack that goes with it the Hornby Hitachi Class 800 test livery coach pack R4897. So let's have a look. So this is the train pack. A nice decent weight box as well and actually has an opening top let's just sort that bit out and there we have the power car and the dummy car which they do look very nice so I'll get these out and we'll have a closer look And we have the standard Hornby instruction leaflet and a note about DCC Lighten. And this is limited edition of 500. And this was number 277. And considering it's not the um, fullest of liveries, I do like the design they've got on this. And obviously the train they had in real life as well. Obviously non-working, but it has got fully detailed pantographs. And they should pop up as well. But yes, there's a lot of detail on that. And it's very heavy as well. And obviously I know DCC chip installation it's the screws they are and I ended up using um, Gage Master DCC 26s in those but even then it's still a squeeze getting that cover back on but you need it in both units for the directional lighting and as I say it is more of a plain livery on the dummy but I still think it is a very nice livery and again you've got the pantographs and all the detail on the dummy car as well so we'll have a look at the coaches as well so here's the coach pack again limited edition of 500 and obviously it's the correct coach numbers to make that class 800 set. Let's pop that off. A oh, little bit of damage, but that was set 459. And again, although a fairly plain white, they do look nice. So again, I'll just get them out of the polystyrene. And the first one of the coaches we have is an MSO, which is 812002. And again, plenty enough detail on them. And I do like it when they do bother putting clear windows on and the seats inside and another MSO 813002 so that's not vastly different from the other one apart from the number but then we have an MCO 814002 And again, slightly different roof detail on that one. Mind you, the two MSOs have got very slightly roof differences as well. And now, the important bit, go and make some room on the layout and we'll see it go around as a proper five car set. And so here we have it on the layout.
And it's only right to take it up to two speed as well. Well, I hope that's given you a good enough look at it if you're thinking of buying one yourselves. I can certainly recommend it, but then again, I have got a little thing for fast passenger trains. And thank you very much for watching.